so the first section in business english deals with the importance of uh, communication in, in business now why is uh, communication so important in business it is basically because you see a company's success depends on business for example suppose you have a company that is uh, leading in cars uh, let's take for example any car showroom company now naturally for them to be successful they have to release new models of cars every year they have to bring out variants in their car petrol diesel automatic manual and all those things uh, they'll have to have a good sales team to promote their car effectively you know there are so many things that are important and then along with this communication methods are also crucial without communication almost all these things will will fail for example communication can mean even a whatsapp message a picture an audio a video all these things together is communication and because of uh, because of uh, because communication is so important uh, it is very crucial so how what is communication communication is the process of how we share information in verbal or written form learning to communicate better can improve job performance and advance your career and so we will discuss why communication is important in business and how you can improve your business communication skills now this is not just limited to speech alone people companies work with a wide variety of people businesses prompting them to communicate in a variety of medium for example let's say a company as huge as coca cola or pepsi co or uh, uh, mcdonalds for example all of them they are working from remote locations remote locations would be they are maybe their corporate office might be in, in new york or japan the time zones would be different and they work with a wide variety of people for example while america is awake japan would be sleeping or while america is awake india would be sleeping and at the same time mcdonalds in india has to start working so like this you know and the, and the uh, maybe if the chicken or the burger is pro- vegetarian burger or non vegetarian burger if it is processed from a particular place and sent to different uh, sent to different sections then you know uh, um, logistics have to work so it's uh, business communication is so important it is not only limited to speech there are so many people working in this and different variety of communication methods and to be very effective care is given to the tone and clarity of the message regardless of the communication method so very important is that you have to be clear as to what you say and your tone also has to be very important now these are four standard methods of business communication one verbal communication is the use of your voice to convey an idea spark an opinion and it can include virtual meetings phone calls and in person conversations so just like i am talking to you now i am talking to you virtually some of you might be sitting and listening uh, using a laptop some of you might be lying down uh, using a phone some of you might be traveling at the same time keeping your headphones on some might some of you might simply be switching off may maybe doing something else so but at the same time the communication i am trying to convey an idea to you i am trying to tell you something which i i hope that you will be able to understand so it can be through virtual meetings it can be through a personal phone call it can also be through in person conversations in person conversations nowadays are done with the use of masks because of the present situation now so this is one way so verbal communications can be in of different types like virtual meetings phone calls and person to person communicate conversations next would be visual communication now visual communication is by the use of an image or a graphic to make an idea very clear so i send you a chart or i send you a map 
or I send you an infographic or I send you a poster or I send you a video. All this is tuned to visual communication. That is using images or graphics. I can make you understand or you know, the, an idea is conveyed, conveyed from my side to your side. So this is visual communication. Then we also have nonverbal forms of communication here. Nonverbal communications would be through our behavior. For example, you have body language, you have gestures, you have dresses, you have facial expressions. Let's say for an interview, the way you dress is very important. Your, the level of formality is different. Maybe you will have to dress if, if you if you're a if you're a boy or a male, you, you might have to uh, you, you might have to wear a shirt with your pants and the shirt should be tucked in. If it is a girl or a woman, uh, churidar or sari, decent churidar or sari would be acceptable and things like that. Now, this is a dress. Now, the facial expressions also would be different in the sense that for an interview, you would have to maintain a calm, composed, pleasant uh, expression instead of being angry you might have you might have be, become angry with your mother or parents uh, just prior to coming to the for the interview but then at that particular point of time your facial expression has to be different because you are coming for an interview the same way your gestures there are certain symbols and sign languages that you can use now you know that these certain for example when i'm teaching you if I move my hands in, in a certain fashion, you know that uh, I'm trying to convey the message to you. But suppose the same hand is used in different forms. It can convey, it could convey a different meaning to you. And that might be offensive to you. And so gestures are also very important. And then there is also what you call the body language. The body language is how I sit. And if it is in a virtual class, how I address you. If you uh, have turned on your cameras, you will know that I am addressing you straight into your face. Now, I know that uh, I am addressing you virtually, but then what I do is I am looking into the camera eyepiece because that is how I know that I, I can you know connect with you. At the same time, I tell you that you know I'll be looking towards the right or left because the uh, my that's only because of my second monitor, but. As much as possible, I will try to uh, sort of see you. I'll try to address you as if it's a live classroom, although I know that it is a virtual classroom. So the body language, the gestures, the dressing, and facial expressions are also very important, and they form part of what you call nonverbal communications. And finally, you have written communications. Now, written communication can be through print or digital media. Nowadays, digital media is gaining favor. Of course, you do. You also have the print. That is, you can have handwritten. Let's say uh, uh, this may not be related to business, but suppose from a class you want to take leave, you give a leave leave letter application to your class tutor. Now, this is a written format. You can also maybe in, in business terms. Uh, you could maybe you might be wanting to write a letter to your manager saying that uh, I would like to take take leave due to personal inconvenience and things like that. So this is a print print in the sense that you are handwriting it. It can also be in the form of digital media. Now in digital media you can have emails. Uh, you can also have letter formats. Letter, letter formats can also be in the print form. You can have memos, you can have reports, and you can have other different types of documentation. Now, we will be learning uh, certain sections of uh, other documentation also, so that when you graduate into one field of business, then you know you will be able to communicate as a better person. Now, this is the advantage of a functional English batch. See, you are able to learn different aspects of English, one being business. And in business, how you will be able to communicate with your peers, with your business associates, with your managers, with your uh, with your employees. These are things that 
in we will be teaching you in a in a in a, in a slightly less manner than others of course the bba honors and students when we we come finance students will be learning more but you will have an a chance to understand these nuances of business communication so what are the different types of business communications business communications are basically in four uh, are classified into four one verbal communications two visual communication three non verbal communication and four written communication i hope you have understood thank you very much well, let me just stop the recording and then we will have a discussion on this